Hey, what's up, man? The uh, ants are in the back. Ants? You're not the exterminator? No. This is the Ghostbusters proton pack. <laughs> I believe at one point I had the full-on Ghostbusters jumpsuit. <laughs> I have one, too. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the movie Ghostbusters. Ever since I was a little kid, I fell in love with all the props, and since you couldn't buy them anywhere, I decided to just build it myself. I want to sell my Proton Pack today because if I want to build more of these props from some of the other movies, I'm going to need the cash. What the hell is this, Corey? It's from Ghostbusters. This is the Proton Pack. Oh, okay. Was it made for the movie, or did... This is a replica that I built myself. All right, so what was the plot behind it again? Uh, it was about some guys that started a business in New York running around catching ghosts, and this was one of the primary tools that they used. I know the big deal was that you can't cross the streams. No. Full proton reversal. The end of life as you know it. Ghostbusters was a big-budget movie for its day because it had a ton of expensive visual effects, like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Remember that guy? The part where he exploded at the end was done with over 50 gallons of shaving cream. This was really a labor of love. I actually made trips out to Hollywood to the studio where they have some of the screen use packs on display, and I took detailed photos and measurements. It's all made of fiberglass and plastic and electronics. Some car parts, this is like a thermostat off of a 1958 Corvair. <laughs> uh, there's all sorts of brass fittings, pneumatic fittings. This cable was almost impossible to find. It went out of production in the early 80s. Even replicated all of these labels. I took photos of them, had them printed at a sign shop. You have to be able to find all these parts and then also have the technical ability to wire it all up. How's this damn thing work? Well, this is an unlicensed nuclear accelerator that shoots a proton beam. So when you press this button, it fires. You want to try it out? Why not? Just press that button there. See how much fun that is? It's, it's neat. So what are you looking to get out of it? I'd like to get at least $2,000 for it. <sighs> it ain't no damn way. I think here you are to be able to sell it for three, four, five thousand bucks. I think I could probably sell it, man. I just don't know when. All you have to do is find another nerdy fan like me who has too much money in his pocket. <laughs> the problem is, is a lot of nerdy fans spend all their money building stuff like this instead of buying <laughs> it. I can see doing like 800 bucks on it, man. I'd have to have a little bit more than that. Could you do like 15? I'll go $1,000. That's as far as I'm going, Corey. The only reason why is they look good in the store. Come on, you can do 1200 bucks. 1000 bucks, man. That's the most I can pay for it. This is one of the more ridiculous items I've even heard him agree to buy. 1050 If I give you 1050 are you going to feel like you won? Yeah. All right, dude. 1050 All right. <laughs> Meet me over there. All right, Shep. All right. Take the pack with you. <laughs> I think the old dude would make a good Ghostbuster. He was trying to pretend like he wasn't into it, but I could tell he was having fun. You want to go watch Ghostbusters? Hell no, you get your ass back to work. I wish I could have got a little bit more money than 1050 I had probably that much in it, but now I've got some money and I'm in Vegas. <laughs>